everything and everybody in the world is made up of atoms. Atoms are tiny particles, so small that they cannot be seen through a microscope. Comparing the size of an atom to an apple is like comparing the apple to the Earth. The atom is itself made up of even smaller pieces. At the center of each atom is a cluster called a nucleus. It is composed of protons and neutrons. Different elements are made up of atoms having a different number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. The lightest natural element, hydrogen, has atoms with only one proton and no neutrons. The heaviest, uranium, has atoms containing 238 protons and neutrons. Natural uranium consists largely of two parts. 99% is uranium-238 and less than 1% is uranium-235. It is this U-235 which is of particular interest because its nucleus can be split when hit by a neutron. This splitting, or fission, releases heat energy and two or three stray neutrons which hit the nuclei of other U-235 atoms, releasing more heat and more neutrons. This is a chain reaction and it enables a small amount of U-235 to produce a great deal of heat. Power stations use heat to produce electricity. The traditional way of obtaining the heat is by burning oil or coal. The heat boils water, which produces steam. This steam is used to turn a turbine, which is connected to a generator to produce electricity. In a nuclear power station, it is the fission of U-235 in a reactor which supplies the heat to produce the steam. The electricity generated is just the same as that produced by oil and coal-fired power stations. Natural uranium requires processing before it can be used as fuel for the reactor. This is because it does not contain a high enough percentage of U-235 to sustain a chain reaction. This level of U-235 needs to be increased to about 3% by a process known as enrichment. At the Guangdong Nuclear Power Station at Daya Bay, the two 900 megawatt reactors are pressurized water reactors, or PWRs. The station includes the conventional island housing the turbines and generators, and the nuclear island housing the reactor's containment, fuel and auxiliary buildings. Within the containment building, the reactor vessel contains the nuclear fuel pellets enclosed in sealed metal tubes. These tubes are bunched together in what are known as fuel assemblies. Within each fuel assembly are movable control rods which can absorb neutrons and slow down the chain reaction, so controlling the heat energy produced. Water, pressurized to 155 times normal air pressure, circulates through the reactor core in a totally enclosed circuit called the primary circuit. The core heats the water to temperatures of about 310 degrees Celsius. The pressurizing of the water enables it to be heated to this very high temperature without boiling. The flow of the water through the reactor core has the effect of a coolant, transferring the heat to a totally enclosed secondary circuit through a heat exchanger. This is a steam generator which produces high pressure steam in a large U-tube assembly. This steam turns the turbine, which is connected to the generator, to produce electricity. The steam passing through the turbine is condensed by the cooling water circuit and returns through the secondary circuit to be reheated in the steam generator. The pressurized water reactor has been used in nuclear power stations for well over 30 years and now makes up more than half of over 400 nuclear power reactors in service worldwide. It has a proven track record of safety and reliability.